Hello everyone, this is Mark Van de Wittering of the BrainWagon blog. Um, I'm recording this on my laptop today, so um, this is the culmination of my Christmas LED hat project. It uh, consists of a 99 cent string of, of battery powered LEDs, and you can string these into a hat, that's not really all that cool. But I've been working on a little control unit for them so that they can do more than just stay solid on. Um, they can pulse width modulate back and forth in terms of brightness, which is kind of fun. Or they can blink on and off. Or they can alternate blink. Or they can stay steady on, which is uh, kind of somewhat less interesting. I kind of like this pulse width modulation mode. So what's the deal? Um, the deal is um, I made a new controller for them. So these consist of two strands. If you haven't been watching the previous version of these, there's two strands of LEDs, all of which are wired in parallel and supposed to be driven by a 3.3 volt battery. So I took them apart and wired them to a uh, regular stereo jack plug. You can see that you can um, insert that. And that's the control unit. The uh, single button here is the user interface, which tells you just press and hold the button and it toggles between modes. So that's all that it does. Um, this is actually the first time I've used an Altoids box. Um, it's, uh, it's a great convenient thing. They're a little hard to bore holes into. Um, a couple people recommended some, some good steps for mine. It's good to use a good black backing block, uh, backing block of wood or something so that when you bore through you don't chew it all up. Um, I would always use a drill press because these things are so, I don't think you could hold a handheld drill steady enough. I'm lucky enough to have one. Um, I stepped it way down in speed as the lowest it possibly could go and then drilled a 1 8 inch pilot hole and then used the step drill bit to uh, finish the thing and then deburred it and it was fine. Um, so inside this is uh, the controller and it's an AT Tiny 1 3 processor. Um, with two switching transistors. It turns out that each of the bands, or each of the two parallel circuits that I'm driving, draw about 60 milliamps a piece. Um, so the total current uh, could be a little higher than what the Atmel can drive by itself. Um, it's powered off 9 volts, so there's a 7805 voltage regulator in here. Uh, I didn't actually have any standoff, so the only thing I did to keep it from grounding against the case was I wrapped it in some clear packing tape. So there's just a layer of that. Um, had to be clear to had to be sure to put it on top as well, because the uh, metal tab on the 7805 actually uh, is the ground as well. So it'll ground up against the case and that'll screw things up. I could have uh, probably done some better design on that, but that's basically my first Altoids project. A nice little Christmas project. The circuit is dead simple. I'll draw up some schematics and get that available online. And uh, I hope to go wander around a little bit and uh, see whether anybody comes up to me and talks to me about this. It's kind of fun. Um, if you want to duplicate the project, it's, it's a great first microcontroller type project. And, uh, you know, I hope that it brings a smile to some people at Christmas. This has been Mark Van de Wettering of the BrainWagon blog, wishing everyone a terrific holiday and a Merry Christmas.